A History of Violence movie review. So I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, um, but I was not impressed by this movie. Uh, lots of people had recommended it to me, lots of intelligent people, you know, friends I respect who are smarter and more well-read than me. But uh, yeah, I, and it, it, it does have to be said, it's not a bad movie. Uh, like, uh, in terms of entertainment value or kind of how it's shot and stuff like that. Uh, if you're looking for something to watch, it's watchable. But, it does border on being pretentious. And you can tell that right from the title. Uh, and I know this apparently is adapted from a comic book or something. I, I don't, I've not read the comic book. I don't know in depth the source material, but uh, what is up with a name like A History of Violence? With a title like that, you're not expecting just a stupid action flick. You're expecting something with some sort of philosophical question that's going to make you think. Uh, and this movie doesn't do that. Uh, it's very cliché. Uh, it's, it's got a cliché plot. The, the plot is, there's a former fighter, and he's given up his fighting ways from the past, but then he's forced into a situation where he has to resume his violent ways in order to protect his family. This is not a new plot. Uh, I've seen this multiple times. I think this has been the plot of several westerns. Uh, it's been in spy movies, comic books. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this before as well. Um, the bad guys in this movie are... I didn't think they were realistic. They were just kind of over-the-top bad guys. So just the high school bully stereotype. Uh, or the psychotic restaurant killers. Uh, there... You know, it's... It's a movie that, at least from the title, seems to promise some sort of philosophical question but then has just kind of bad guys that are, that are just kind of mindlessly bad and psychotic instead of kind of complex humans. On the other hand, sometimes you read the news and you hear about all these mindless gun massacres. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm of two minds of it. Maybe, maybe there is really this kind of mindless evil kind of out in human society or maybe this is an oversimplification. I don't know. But still, uh, uh, the question the, the movie raises are, are almost cliché. Um, I remember, I, actually, this is not unique to me. I'm sure lots of people can remember having these discussions as a teenager. So, for example, when I was a teenager, I was in a church youth group. I, I grew up religious. Uh, and around about the time you're starting to form your own opinions or trying to form your own religious and political opinions, I was attracted to Christian pacifism uh, because that seemed to me to be the message of the gospel, what Jesus was saying. I, I've since moved on to become an agnostic, but that's a separate story. At, at the time, I was about 14, 15, 16, kind of attracted to Christian pacifism because there are definitely elements of the New Testament that clearly seem to indicate a pacifist outlook. Uh, you know, Jesus saying, do not resist an evil person. Uh, if someone slaps you on one cheek, offer him the, ne the next one. Uh, and the youth group leader would say, yeah, okay, well, what if a murderer came in and was threatening your family and you had a gun? What would you do? And, I mean... Um, on the one hand, fair enough. It's a fair question. On the other hand, that, that's the first question anybody goes to. So for this movie to come in and present it like they're introducing like a new philosophical question seems to me like... Like, what are you talking about? This adds nothing to the debate. This is like the first step everybody already knows. I, I don't know, maybe actually, maybe I'm coming at this movie all wrong. Um, 
almost all of my criticisms of this movie uh, are based on the fact that the title sounds philosophical. Maybe if it had just been given a different title, like Straw Dogs, the remake, or uh, a, a, a Night in the House, or you know something like that, then all of these objections would go out the window, and I'd just be like, okay, it's an intense thriller or something like that. And, and I say that somewhat tongue-in-cheek, but actually, maybe that is. Uh, maybe, maybe this is just like a, a thriller with kind of a pretentious sounding title. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I know lots of people like this movie, so uh, tell, me what I, tell me what I'm missing.